Hello everyone and welcome back to a new lesson. I am your verbal ability and soft skills trainer Nandita. Well, today's topic is the most demanded one. Yes. You can see a picture here. Yes. That's a telephone. Do you remember the telephone that we used to use in the olden days when we were not having any kind of mobile phones or cell phones? Yes. That is the telephone I'm talking about. However, do not think that I'm going to take you people so back and I'll make you people use it. No. But today's lesson is about the telephone phrases. If you are working for an MNC or even if you are a student but you know that you are going to work for an international company, then you should be knowing that what are the telephone etiquettes or what are the phrases that we are supposed to use while we are making a call. Hey, hang on. That does not mean that if you do not have any plans to go to any MNC, this lesson is of no use. No, it's not like that. You can use these phrases in English even if you are talking to your friends or relatives. You need to sound different. So let's quickly see that what is the objective for the day. All right. So if you are going to stay with me till the end of this lesson, you are going to learn all these. That is, I will teach you how to make a call in English. Second, I will also make you learn, I'll teach you that what kind of phrases you are supposed to use when you are going to put a call on hold. Thirdly, I will teach you that if there is some sort of negative information, then how you are supposed to give that negative information. We do not have to claim. So I'll teach you what are those good phrases which you can use in order to sound good. Last but not the least, I will also tell you that if there are any network issues or maybe any kind of problems that you are dealing with, then how to address those problems over the phone. All right. So I know you people are super excited because in today's generation, in today's era, we all are used to telephones. We all are used to mobile phones, cell phones. Therefore, this lesson is of utmost importance for you whether you want to use them professionally or you want to use them casually. So let's get started. All right. So very first thing is, what are telephone phrases? So have you ever come, uh, have you ever come or have you ever uh, been in such a situation when you get a call, maybe let's say you are in office, you get a call and then you say, of course, you say, hello. And after that, you say, mm, mm, okay, yes, that's it. These are not the only things that you are supposed to speak over the phone. There are many other things that you should be saying over the phones. So what are those things that we are going to learn today? So in a very simple language, let's say telephone phrases are the phrases that we use while we talk over the phone all right so the first thing that you have to make is obviously uh, you have to make a call to somebody or you might get a call from somebody right so whenever you are making a call to somebody and uh, the other person receives the call the first thing that you have to say is of course that would be a hello but what after hello so these are the phrases which you can use like I would like to speak to, I would like to speak to Joseph or I would like to speak to Nandita. So whomever you are uh, like for example I had called somebody and his name is Joseph. So I call and after hello I would say I would like to speak to Joseph. So maybe the person uh, on the other end. If that person is Joseph, he will definitely say, they will say, yeah, this is Joseph. If that person is not Joseph, then you will get something other to hear that maybe um, I am so and so, Joseph is not here. Or maybe you can speak to Joseph after 
five minutes or after 10 minutes. So this is a very formal way to connect with somebody when you are calling and you know you are not aware who is on the other end. Similarly, you can simply say I'm calling from. Suppose uh, you made a call to some customer care, you call Airtel, right? Or uh, you call some other company and you are from XYZ organization. So you can say, hi, I'm calling from Ravings. Or you can simply say, hi, I'm calling from ABC company. So this is the first thing that you need to say if you are making any sort of professional call. Or the other uh, way of saying is, suppose um, you are calling a doctor or you are calling somebody else and you are calling on behalf of your mother or father. So you can simply say, I'm calling on behalf of Miss Nandita or I'm calling on behalf of Mr. Raksh. So anything you can say if you are calling on behalf of somebody else. Yes, so these are the three phrases you have to say immediately in case you are making a call to somebody. All right, so these are the phrases that you need to know and these phrases are used most commonly in the professional world. Now, once you have already made a call, let's see what's next. Okay, <clears throat> now while you are taking a call, right, you got a call from somewhere. So how to say in English, like, okay, it's already done. Hello, I am, I would like to speak to so-and-so. I would like to speak to Nandita. Then what you are supposed to get from the other end, you have to say, all right, hi, Nandita speaking. How can I help you? So of course, you know that when somebody has called, someone has called for some purpose. So it's your duty to ask that, how may I help you? Or how can I help you? Like what is the purpose for which you have called? So here you make the call forward. You make the conversation further. Another thing is, where are you calling from? So suppose I get a call and um, I can simply not say, who is this? Who is on the other uh, end? I have to be very polite. Do remember that politeness counts, whether it is professional world or personal world. So you have to say very politely, where are you calling from? So at times, you know, uh, you get a wrong number. So in that case, you do not, have to, do not have to shout that who is that at the other end? I do not know you or I'm going to block your call. You have to be very polite and you can say that where are you calling from? So maybe if you have reached a wrong number, then the uh, clarification could be met that, okay, I'm calling from so-and-so place. Okay, so this is how you have to further take the communication forward. All right, this is something very important, asking to hold. Oftentimes, I mean, uh, it was my bad experience. I would like to share with you people. Once I called uh, this Airtel customer care and the guy had put me on hold, even without informing me. And I was waiting on the call, let's say for, it was, I guess, 15 minutes. And I had no idea what's happening. And this was the situation wherein I have decided that I am going to, I'm, I won't, I do not want to be the customer or client of Airtel anymore. So this was one instance. Therefore, it is really important that if you are putting somebody's call on hold, you need to inform them. So that the other person knows that, okay, um, maybe I have put on hold for some reason and they have an idea. All right. But if you simply put call on hold and you do not intimate, you do not inform, that's considered to be rude. So you don't have to be rude. Remember, we have to be polite. All right. And then what we can say for this instance, let's see. Just a moment, please. So let's say I um, there's a call and somebody is asking for my father, right? Now, of course, I'll take some time to call my father. So what I can say is, just a moment, please. Let me just uh, see my father and he'll be there in next two or five minutes. So that the person gets to know that, okay, it's going to take two or five minutes for the main person to come to the call, right? Another way is, could you hold on, please? 
this is also a very good way a very polite way to say that could you please uh, hold on please uh, meanwhile i call uh, my father or meanwhile i call the person to whom you wish to talk then okay this one is casual hang on do remember you do not have to use this phrase in professional environment this is only and only to be used with your friends and family hang on so this is pretty casual do not use in professional environment it is not considered good yes but yes above two you can very well use in a professional environment they are very polite and they actually tells that yes the other person is considering your time they are taking your precious time into consideration and therefore they have asked you to hold for a moment <coughs> okay now next we have okay at times it happens uh, that the person who is calling and the person uh, with whom that person is willing to speak is not available so this is a kind of negative information so again you have to prove that even if you are giving a negative information it has to be in a very very positive manner it has to be in a very polite manner so what you can say instead is i'm afraid he is not in office suppose uh, i get a call i get a call from my boss and the boss is not there or maybe the boss is in a meeting so i will very politely say that i'm afraid he's not there in the office or i can even say that you can talk to him by you give the time by 3 o'clock so this is a very polite way uh, to tell somebody that the person you are asking for is not available at the moment but definitely surely you can connect to the person after some time okay then another way is i'm sorry she's in a meeting so suppose um there's a call for me right and my colleague knows that i am not um, there in the office at the moment i'm in a meeting or maybe i'm in a class so very politely she'll say i'm sorry she's in a meeting then of course the other person can ask so by when can i connect with her and you need to give a probable time that maybe you can connect with her after an hour or maybe you can connect with uh, the person the next day so this is something wherein you are giving valuable information the person feels that if i am calling that call is not actually a waste of time even if you are not able to talk to the relevant person but yes you get some information that yes you have to make a call after a certain time then yes this is for when uh, you know you get wrong number that is very common so instead of shouting instead of howling instead of blocking this is the phrase you can use i'm afraid you have got the wrong number at times it happens there is um, you know um, there is line error i have called somebody and maybe it reaches to somebody else in that situation we do not have to feel awkward we do not have to shout we not we do not have to give the irrelevant information we just need to say that i'm sorry i believe you have reached the wrong number so here you sound polite and people think that yes they are talking to somebody who is educated okay now the last situation wherein we have to deal is <clears throat> yes telephone issues or telephone problems and i know this is one of the most common thing that happens and people usually do not know what to speak in such situation maybe there are network issues so what they do is hello 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 so all you can hear from both the ends is hello but people there are phrases that you can use even here you need to tell the other person that what the problem is yes or what the problem was so you can simply say that your voice is cracking or your voice is jarring so at times it happens that somebody calls and we are not able to listen to them very properly or maybe there is certain uh, you know cracking sound so we can simply say that uh, i'm really sorry i was not able to listen to you your voice was cracking 
your voice was jarring and this particular thing you have to keep in mind whenever you are giving any telephonic interviews instead of the interviewer thinking that you do not know the answer or maybe uh, if you have not heard the question well then simply say i'm really sorry but your voice is cracking or your voice was jarring cracking and jarring are slangs <coughs> another thing when you know that uh, the line is pretty not well not good you can simply say that the line is very bad could you repeat it happens many a times like these days it's raining heavily right and it's very much possible it mostly happens that uh, we are not able to listen to the other person properly in that case instead of saying hello 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 you can use this phrase that i'm really sorry the line is very bad could you repeat that that will sound very polite another is you can say uh, i'm afraid i can't hear you that's very uh, you know that's possible that you were not able to listen to somebody maybe a kid was playing uh, songs or maybe someone has just turned on the television and you missed the important piece of information instead of assuming something you can simply say that i'm afraid i can't hear you so these were the phrases that you have to use now let's see what's other thing at times <coughs> it happens that you are asked to leave a message so what to say in case you have to leave a message for somebody or someone wants to leave a message so these phrases could be used would you like to leave a message at times maybe i get a call and the person is not there so if it is really important um, the person can ask when i can connect with him or you can give the time or what you can say is would you like to leave a message if there is an important message maybe the person will leave the message that uh, please ask him to call me uh, by 5 so you can just pen down the message that is also a good thing it could be used both personally as well as professionally then you can ask like can i pen down a message of course you get a call and the person is not there and you know that it might be an important call you can simply say that can i pen down the message if it is really important if you would like to leave a message for the person so yes these are the phrases which could be used when you are asking somebody to leave a message all right so this brings me to the end of this uh, lesson i hope you have enjoyed the session because it is really important and i'm pretty sure you would be using these uh, phrases while you are connecting with your friends or maybe in your official environment do let me know that which are the phrases which you use most often while you are telephone in an official environment right use these phrases and i'll be back with a new lesson for you till the uh, till then take care and keep learning take care